Lastly, we'll draw the center raised panel for the door. In order to do that, first I want to hide the styles, so I'll right mouse button on those and click hide. Let's look at the rail closely. This tendon that sticks out it sticks into the dado joint in the side of the style. The distance from the end, this end of that tendon to that end of the tendon defines the width of the panel that we want to create because it fits in that same dado groove. The distance from the bottom of this tendon to the top of the lower tendon defines the height of the panel that we want to create. So if we draw a box or a rectangle from one corner to the other corner, we'll have a panel that's exactly the right height and width. I'll take the rectangle tool and I'll click on this corner. Now we can take and rotate it around so that we can see the other side. Switch back to our rectangle tool and snap at that corner. We have a rectangle that is exactly the right height and width for that panel. Let's turn it around to the back and we'll decide, define the thickness of that. Using push-pull, I will pull this surface towards me and then using inferencing, I'm going to move the cursor down to this surface of the, of the lower rail and inferencing will take over and make that new panel the same thickness. Coming around here, we'll do the same thing, drag it out, move the cursor to the surface, and it defines that. Now I need to create the raised panel portion of that, so let's hide the upper and the lower rails. Next, I want to go into my components window again, and we're going to select the raised panel molding shape and we're going to insert that right there. I'm now going to right mouse button on this and explode this. We'll check and that has segmented that surface. I'm going to use follow me tool to tell SketchUp to take this surface and cut it out around all four sides. There's two ways I can do that. First, by clicking the edges I want it to follow, hold the shift key down, click the second edge, click the third edge, and click the fourth edge. A faster method is by clicking the surface. Since the boundary of that surface is, is the same boundary that I want it to follow, I only, click, only have to click the surface, click the follow me tool, and then the surface that I want to follow, and it does it. We'll rotate it around to the back. There we go. Rotate this around. We'll group this. And go into Entity Information. We'll label this C Phased Panel and assign that to layer C. Now I want to re uh, re display the uh, styles and rails that I hid so I can go into Edit and Unhide All. I now have my raised panel door with style and rail construction completed.